about to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Hi guys and welcome back to our channel If you are new here my name is Vicky And I am a mum of three boys And on this channel you will find food hauls meals of the week, cook with me's, family vlogs. So if you are new here, welcome, and I would love for you to stick around and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm really sorry about the change in light, actually. I'm sitting in my conservatory, and it was the perfect light when I came out here because we've got the dog snoring in there. <laughs> One of the dogs snoring in there. There he is, enjoying the sunshine. So as I said, we are a family of five. We have three sons which are growing like rapidly <laughs> every single day. They seem to get bigger and bigger. Um, two of them are in secondary school so our budget is around £120 a week if I can stick to that. Lately I've been doing Tesco online um, delivery where I pay £3.99 a month and they deliver my shopping to me basically. I pick it out online. That's really really helped me with cutting back on the impulse buys. So I am going to be going back to shopping in like Lidl and Aldi. I still go to B&M and Poundland. Um, I do the occasional Sainsbury's haul and Asda haul. I don't really stay strict like to one supermarket basically it's where whatever's convenient at the time and at the moment Tesco's is working for me so anyway I will do what I usually do and I will take you through everything I've bought this week what I did first was I really thoroughly went through my two freezers so I'll show you the list I made of everything that was in those first and how I've tried to slot that into this week's meal plan. I have got two cook with me videos coming up. I finally finished them. I've got one corned beef hash and I've got the sausage bacon and potato bake, which is like a Philadelphia bake. That one should be up tomorrow, all being well. And these huge shadows that are flying past me. <laughs> There's like massive seagulls <laughs> flying past my head. Well, it seems like it. Anyway, the weather does not know what it's doing today. It's like sunny and then it's raining and cloudy. I don't know why I'm waffling on about the weather. Should we just take a look at what I've bought this week? Right, so I went through both of my freezers and this is what I've got. I've got a big tub of stock. I think it's beef stock, but I'm not 100% sure. But it's really big, so I need to save that for when I need to use a lot. I've got two bags of frozen broccoli, a bag of frozen sprouts, I had two lots of the four individual packs of cauliflower rice, I've got a 500 gram pack of pork mince, a 200 gram pack of beef mince, a 200 gram pack of diced beef, I've got a kilo of frozen chicken breast, one pack of the chicken sausages, I've got two muscle food ready meals from when they sent us that pack, we still haven't used those two. I've got three chicken stir-fry packs where you get the chicken, some stir-fry vegetables and I think it's a little Thai sauce. I've got a bag of frozen mashed potato, a bit random. I've got a kilo of oven chips. I've got leftover chilli pasta bake and a leftover pesto pasta bake. So that's quite a lot of things in there um, that I could use this week. And then in my freezer down here I've got a leftover chilli that was like a um, chilli con carne made with mince. And that's quite a big portion. I've got some leftover Philadelphia sausage and potato bake, four fish fingers, one Linda McCartney cheese and leek plat. I don't even know where that came from. I've got some frozen peas, frozen sweet corn, carrots, berries and cauliflower. I've got a bag of corn pieces and half a bag of chicken breast. So that's everything I've got. So if I take you through what I bought at Tesco now and then I'll explain my meal plan and what I'm going to use up. Right, so not very much in the way of fresh fruit this week. I've still got apricot, pineapple, apples, grapes, mango. I've got quite a lot of fruit to use and I've got some black bananas as well. So I just concentrated on salad bits because as you saw from my list, I've got so much veg in the freezer. I really need to use some of that up rather than keep buying more. So I've got a pack of courgettes. We usually have these roasted. I got some red chilies for a curry I'm making. Two cucumbers some baby plum tomatoes, grapes as usual for the boys pack lunch. One thing I don't like about getting like my fruit or my food delivered is that I would always pick through the grapes and pick the ones that don't have these sort of brown spots on them. Whereas obviously at Tesco they just when they pick and pack they just pick them up and check the date, not necessarily the fruit if you know what I mean the condition. So I wouldn't choose this pack myself but most of the stuff comes okay. Anyway, I've got two lots of Little Gem lettuce as well. 
I got some of these jumbo cooked prawns. These were on offer again at, I think they're a pound off, so £3.50 instead of £4.50. Um, we have these now and again for Steve and I as like a treat. I bought some lamb. I mean, if you've watched these, I think we're on number... I don't know, it's been nearly a year, so we're on number 49.50, and I don't know if I've ever bought lamb in a food hall. Maybe once, but anyway, I'm waffling. <laughs> Maybe if someone remembers seeing me buy lamb, let me know. But I very, very rarely buy um, the more expensive meats, because there are five of us, and we are on a budget. So this week, I decided to get some of this lamb. It's actually really good value, I think. Three for ten pound. And as on Sunday, it's Father's Day, one of Steve's favourite things in the world to eat is slow-cooked, homemade, like proper homemade lamb curry. So I'm going to do that in the slow cooker for Sunday. These are 300 grams each, so just doing, I mean, one wouldn't even probably do Steve, to be honest. So I bought three, and I thought for £10, with a bit of rice and some spices and that, it's so much cheaper than us getting a takeaway. And we're having a takeaway Saturday, because it's my birthday. So he's going to have cooked food. <laughs> so that's why I've bought lamb. I got a big block of Pilgrim's Choice uh, Mature Cheddar. This was, I think it's half price, so it's like £2.50 and you get 550 grams. I got some Sweet Chili Philadelphia and some Salmon Philadelphia. These two were on offer at two for £3. I think they're normally £2 each. I just picked up a pack of Butcher's Pork Sausages. Um, these are frozen... I just got these to put in the freezer because sometimes I cook them cold for the boys pat lunch or I'll do them for like breakfast in a sausage sandwich or lunch or something so and I think these are ridiculously cheap these ones they're not like your um like some of the finest that we get sometimes these are just your bog standard cheap pork sausages but I think they're like 91p for I, I don't know they're good in a sandwich they're fine I got four tins of the Italian peeled plum tomatoes. These are for the curry as well. I got some of these massive hot dogs. The boys absolutely love these sort of Frankfurter style, or sorry, Bockwurst style hot dogs. I'm going to be making them chilli dogs for their Friday night movie night. Um, I've got a tin of chilli. I always use tin chilli on chilli dogs because it's just easier. If we're eating chilli, I'll make it, but if not... I'm going to use a tin. Two lots of pork luncheon meat. I bought it last week and Bailey really, really liked it. Even though he's not keen on ham in his sandwiches, he really liked that. So I got two of those. I got a pack of wafer thin roast turkey. And this is one of Jake's favourite cheeses, the Yarlsberg. We usually use it for our homemade subs. But this was on offer at half price. It's 92p. So I got that so he can have that in his pack lunches. I might do him like that with some turkey and some luncheon meat. Sort of like a... Um, I don't know what you call them. I don't know. What are those sandwiches? They have all different meats and cheeses. Don't know. <laughs> Filled sandwiches. Going to do a taco night. We haven't had a taco Tuesday for a long, long time. So I thought, why not do tacos for a change? 15 free range eggs. My usual four pints of semi skimmed milk. Although I've just realised I didn't mean to pick that up. Because I also have milk in the freezer. And I got that out yesterday and defrosted it. So I'm not sure we'll use it all. But I can always freeze it again. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, yogurt, that's for the curry. I got a big clover because that's on offer. It was £2. I got some boil in the bag basmati rice. Again, for our curry on Father's Day. Then I bought some spices. Good job I've arranged these carefully. But mind you, I couldn't spell anything. Does anyone ever laugh when they go in the supermarket and see that people have childishly, but quite funny sometimes, arranged the... Yeah, you know what I mean. But sometimes, sometimes they're just vulgar, but sometimes they are actually quite creative. Anyway, I got some garlic and ginger paste. I've got some fennel seeds. Let's see if we can actually focus on them. There we go. I've got some fennel seeds, some ground fen fenugreek, fenugreek, some cinnamon sticks, some coriander seeds, some ground cloves, and some mild chilli powder. So that's what I need for the curry. I found this curry. I've never made it before. I have found it on a website. Um, if it comes out well, when I show it in my Meals of the Week, I will link the website. If it doesn't come out well, then there's no point, is there really? I got three toothbrushes for the three boys and some of this anti-dandruff apple shampoo because they all have flaky heads sometimes. These went down well last week, these enrobed Oreos. They're still half price at £1.24. So I got another pack of those. 
I got some button by it. So this, I can't speak. I really can't. It says they've got a secret cream filling, shortcake biscuit filled with milk chocolate and milk chocolate beans. I'm not really sure what a secret cream filling is now, but there you go. I don't know. I think I'm more childish than my children because I saw those and thought, oh, they look really sweet. I think sometimes I forget that they're not like two years old, but they're kids and they're chocolate, so <laughs> it'll be fine. Chocolate and coconut um, granola bars. These are really good. I think these are 89p um, and I just thought they're really nice for a packed lunch because they're packed with oats and they've got dark chocolate chips and they might fill them up a little bit more. So I also got some honey granola bars these are just without the chocolate chips and the coconut and then some white chocolate twix fingers it says new but I'm, i know these have been out for quite a while actually but i got these these are just the single fingers again they were on offer at a pound i got some fever tree tonic this is our favorite tonic in well not in the world or because we haven't tried every tonic but this is our favorite um, tonic we used to buy just like Lidl's own or like Tesco's own tonic because I didn't think it was worth the money to pay for more expensive tonic but since we went out and had this fever tree a few times in like various pubs and things we just think that it is so nice and like it says here look if three quarters of your drink is the mixer mix it with the best which is true because if you're going to drink something you might as well have a nice one this, these actually have pimento berry and cardamom in them and they're just really nice. And the reason I got these, I got two by the way, and they're £3.49 but you do get eight. And the reason I bought these, and I don't normally buy very much alcohol, but it is my birthday on Saturday and it is Father's Day on Sunday. So we've also bought a bottle of this wild berry gin. We've had this before, it's infused with berries. You get a litre, and I think this was £16.50. So, might have a little treat over the weekend. We've got Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. Um, just thought I'd treat myself for my birthday because a pink gin with a nice tonic and loads and loads and loads of ice sounds like a nice birthday evening to me. Also, got some double strength orange and mango and double strength black currant squash. These are the no added sugar ones. I got another pack of the fruit burst over the back there just for packed lunches. Found a really good idea the other day. Was it on the, I think it might actually be on here. It says um, if you pop them in the freezer, well, it's supposed to be summer here. It's not actually, it's been pouring with rain for two days. But when it does get hot again, and I am fully have faith in the great British weather, <laughs> it will get hot. You can put these in the freezer and then pop them in their lunch boxes. And by the time they go to drink them, they're still nice and cold and it's kept all their lunch cold. So I thought that was a really good idea. I got two loaves of Hovis Best of Both. Um, yeah, this was on offer. I think it's 89p. And I also got one of just a whole meal to stick in the freezer because this is one we've had before. It's 36p. I mean, a loaf of wholemeal bread for 36p. So I got it for an emergency, like pop in the chest freezer because we always, always, I don't know if anyone else is like this, there's always a morning where you're like, do you want some breakfast, do you want some toast? We've got no bread. Or the bread's gone mouldy because it's that sort of warm, damp weather. So I always try and keep a spare in the freezer because I can't go without breakfast. I got some red onion and chive bagels um and some original these were both on offer at a pound and i'm think i'm going to have these maybe for breakfast on my birthday with the salmon philadelphia me and bailey really like that some hot dog rolls for the chili dogs mini tortilla wraps these are really good for oscar and if i run out of bread the boys can have a couple each instead of a sandwich for pat lunches and I got some crisps, so we've got six of these sweet chilli multigrain waves. I just thought I'd try those for a change. Six of the lentil curls, these look like they're the same as the um, little lentil curls. The boys really like those. And then the hula hoop puff are still on offer at a pound. Or is it? Yeah, they're a pound. So I got one more of those just to stock up. Right, so this all came to £92.49. And I suppose when you consider that £23 of that is um, alcohol and like tonic and then we've got 10 pound on meat that i probably would normally have just used chicken that would be maybe three pound um actually it's not too bad so yeah still under budget which is good with some extra treats thrown in 
and I will take you through our meal plan and show you how I've juggled around the things that are in my freezer and what I'm going to add to it to make our meals this week. Right, so here is our meal plan. Today is Thursday. I've left this on from last week because we didn't end up having it. So I'm going to do jacket potatoes, salad, pickles, cheese, ham, cottage cheese tonight. Tomorrow night we're going to be having the chilli cheese dogs with the um, bokwa sausages and yeah, that's for Friday night. On Saturday it's my birthday so we're going to get a takeaway because I cook and meal plan all week every week and I'm not doing it on my birthday Father's Day I'm gonna make Steve and the boys well all of us a slow cooked lamb curry on Monday I'm gonna be using some of the Chinese chicken stir fry from the freezer and I'm gonna make a Chinese noodle stir fry I'm gonna make up a separate um, Chinese curry sauce I've got some Mayflower sauce and the goldfish sauce so I might mix those together I've also got some what are they called fortune cookies so that's for Monday. On Tuesday I'm going to make up the tacos using the pork mince that I've got in the freezer. I'm also going to be doing Steve and I um, the beef mince that I've got in the freezer because there won't be enough for all of us and we probably won't have the tacos. We'll just have like a taco salad without the crunchy shells. And then I've got a leftover day on Wednesday where I know that I've got those things. I've actually got it on my list here. Um, so we've got chilli sausage and Philly bake, there's a chilli pasta. So I will use those things on Wednesday just to use everything up really. And yeah, it saved me buying a lot more meat. So the only meat I've had to buy this week, um, I bought the hot dogs and I bought the lamb. Yeah, and that's the only meat I needed. So that's our meal plan for the coming week. Sorry, I just wanted to add for those of you that love seeing Rennie, our little siren, Look at this little girl feeling sorry for herself. Somebody was spayed on Monday, weren't you, my darling? Yeah. That's to stop you chewing your stitches. It's not a torture device, is it? No, I'll let you go back to sleep. She's getting better, but she's not happy with me. Right, that's everything I bought this week. Like I said, there will be a cook with me coming up tomorrow at 5 p.m. It should be the sausage and bacon potato bake. So hopefully you'll come back for that. Give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. And check us out on Instagram, it's the Folger family, and I will see you in our next video. This is what we waited for.